Roadway grading operations are a key component to the success of the State Road 388 widening project. Drivers are most familiar with the jet black asphalt pavement layer. Construction is completed layer by layer. Below the asphalt surface, layers of embankment, stabilized subgrade, and lime rock provide a strong foundation and help keep motorists safe. Contractors start by placing a layer of native embankment material or soil on the roadway surface when building the roadway. The native material is used throughout the project to build up the roadway base to a predetermined elevation. This base consists of soil that has been excavated and redistributed from one of eight pond sites. Large off-road dump trucks distribute thousands of cubic yards of material for use in constructing the four-mile roadbed. The trucks can haul approximately 28,000 pounds of material per load. Layer upon layer of native material is compressed using heavy equipment including bulldozers and motor graders. Large steel drum rollers compact the roadbed to achieve the desired compaction and density levels. Once complete, the grading, rolling, and compacting operations are repeated for each layer of embankment material. When the embankment layer reaches its specified compaction levels, crews begin building the upper embankment layer called the stabilized subgrade layer. Stabilized subgrade is made by mixing three to four inches of clay or lime rock sweeteners into the upper portion of embankment. The sweetened subgrade material has a moist consistency that creates a 12 inch thick layer of fortified dense material on top of the embankment that easily compacts and provides a strong foundation for lime rock placement. Lime rock, the final layer, is placed over the stabilized subgrade base before laying asphalt on the road surface. But first, a thick black liquid coating called Prime is placed over the lime rock that seals and protects the new road from the elements. The Prime coating acts as a moisture barrier and prevents the sun and other elements from drying out the lime rock. The Prime coat must dry or cure for 24 hours so the black coating does not stick to the paving equipment's tires when asphalt paving operations begin. Careful attention to detail during the construction of State Road 388's roadway grading operations help keep motorists safe and ensures a strong roadway foundation for many years. You can follow State Road 388's construction progress on Facebook and Twitter, or for more information, contact the Florida Department of Transportation District 3 Public Information Office.